Welcome to Weekly Cooking with Becky. Tonight we are going to make a buffalo chicken chaffle. Now, if you don't want to have the buffalo or the heat from it, you can just have a chicken chaffle. Like when you were growing up and you would have chicken chaffles like for breakfast and you could have like some eggs and sausage and you could have it with some keto maple syrup. Just leave out the buffalo sauce. So it's really a two for one recipe. So if you want to have a chicken chaffle, leave out the buffalo sauce it, and then serve it with maple syrup. If you want to have that spice, do what we're doing because we're doing ours a dinner way. But I'm totally going to do this another way sometime for breakfast, for dinner and make them chicken chaffles. So just know one substitution and you have a different meal. But let's get started. So I have a bowl here. And in the bowl, I haven't started stirring yet, but I have a lot of stuff going on. I have shredded chicken, just canned shredded chicken uh, that you might use for like chicken salad sandwiches. Make sure you drain it thoroughly. First, I put it through the strainer and then I also drained it on paper towels. That's in here with eggs, uh, Mexican cheese. I have a cheese blend going on here and um, it calls for Louisiana hot sauce. We had Cholula, so that's what we're using. Don't use Tabasco, guys. It's not going to give you the right flavor. But if you have Louisiana, use that. Uh, we had Cholula. That's fine. And what we're going to simply do is get this mixed up. While you are mixing it, you just turn in on your little mini dash. That's what we use to make chaffles. This is when I'm doing a dinner for family. And I have been looking at those uh, dash makers that have four. Oh, tonight would be a night when I really wish I could be making four at a time instead of one at a time. Because I'm going to be making one at a time. But that's okay. We're just going to mix these up. You're going to want a spray nearby to help keep the grease off and some extra cheese to put on the outside to help crisp it up. So we just simply mix. All of the amounts will be in the recipe. You just give it a kind of a quick stir. It doesn't have to be perfect. This particular recipe makes four. I'm making more, which is kind of why I'm not giving you the amounts because I, I didn't double, I one and a half the recipe because I needed six. Okay, so everything is mixed. I'm just gonna show you how we get it started and then I'll come back to show you the finished product. Guys, chaffles are easy to make. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side because we're gonna need these to a fork to pull them off. So all you do now, the, each chaffle takes about four minutes. You wanna spray your chaffle maker and you sprinkle a little cheese on the bottom you can even see that it's sizzling that's going to help with that crispy spoon some of the mixture on in the middle kind of flatten it out there you go sprinkle a little on top nothing fancy guys Pretty easy and close. That's it. So each one takes anywhere from four to five minutes. I'm going to be making six of them and then we're just serving them up with strawberries because you've got so much protein between the cheese and the chicken. We're gonna do that, have some strawberries with it. So I will be back when they are all ready. Have something for a dipping sauce. So if you do the buffalo chicken, you might want a ranch sauce or even a buffalo ranch sauce if you wanna kick it up even more. Um, if you decide to keep the buffalo out and do chicken chaffles and have like a keto fruit maple syrup and then have a breakfast side to go with it. All right, I'll be back when they're done. Okay, so I have made six and I did a batch and a half and I'm actually making eight. So I guess depending on the size of your chaffle, you might get a few more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little taste test for you. I'm going to just break off a piece. First, I'm gonna have a piece of like nothing. Mm. 
Tastes like a buffalo chicken chaffle. I can definitely see where not having the buffalo would make a great breakfast meal, but I will use it as a dipping sauce. I just want to give you an idea. Oh, with the ranch. That takes it another level, guys. That's really good. That's really good. Mm. And I forgot to tell you, it's only one carb per two chaffles. The serving size is two chaffles at one carb. It's just super high protein. So it's a great meal. I highly recommend it, whether you do it the buffalo chicken way or you take the hot sauce out and you turn it into a, just a regular chicken chaffle and turn it into a breakfast. It is going to amaze you. It is really that good. So enjoy another wonderful meal. Make sure you click on more. Make sure you guys click on that subscribe and turn those notifications on so I can catch you every single week. All right, until next time, bye.